Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, welcome him. Number three in the world, Grandmaster Rikao Nakamura. In this video, I will show you my match against him. You know, one of the best players in history of chess as part of the title Tuesday tournament. And what do you think? Did I lose the game? Maybe a win or maybe even a draw? Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. You know, I must tell you guys that in my last few days I've been sick and you know, I really felt that I own you some videos. So just let's start to see this game and you know, I was with white pieces against Grandmaster Ikaru Nakamura. So e4 g6, knight e3 I played, bishop g7, d4, a6. Ikaru Nakamura is playing against me the, uh, the peer to Fintsov opening, knight c3, b5 and you know, I must recommend you this line, I'm playing the move bishop to e3 bishop b7 and now bishop d3 because in this position black uh, threatening to play b4 and after this this pawn on e4 will be under attack so bishop d3 we are covering covering this pawn uh, with the bishop so d6 and now a4 very important move you know we are we are attacking this important uh, pawn on b5 he's playing of course b4 and now very surprising move i'm playing the move knight to b1 so my point that I want to put the knight from d2 to play c3, a5, h3, castle and this pawn on a6 will be weak and also you know my structure in the opening you know my center is very very located with all my pieces this bishop, this bishop, this knight and also this knight on, from d2 will work together very very good. So let's see what one of the best players in history is playing here, knight f6 is of course attacking this pawn on e4 and we are playing the move knight to b, b to d2 of course knight bd7 and now c3 we are attacking this pawn he's playing the move b takes c3 b takes c3 and now c5 okay until now everything is fine uh, we don't have something to worry about so i play the move a5 you know this blockade move is very important this pawn on a6 will be weak right as you can see, I, I maybe in the future I will play the move queen e2, castle, rook f to b1 and to press on this bishop on b7. So he played the move castle and now I play the move h3. I didn't like to, to bring him the opportunity to play after castle, knight g4, for example, bishop g5, h6, maybe bishop h4, g5, I don't know, but I really don't like uh, to bring the opportunity to play knight g4, so I play the move h3. He played the move queen to c7, very, uh, you know, like simple, wants to, uh, to connect between the rooks, and I played the move castle. He played the move e6, and now I played the move queen to e2. Until now, I think it's very, uh, you know, interesting and, you know, not so much uh, importance was until now, uh, because, you know, every side just develop his pieces, and uh, and now it's starting to be interesting he played the move bishop to c6 and you know the point of course is that after bishop takes a6 don't forget that uh, knight bishop to e4 maybe also knight to e4 makes a lot of sense knight takes bishop takes and um and my point uh, and my pawn of course on a5 will be weak right so bishop c6 of course is not losing this pawn on a6 so i played the move bishop to f4 i also improving my bishop right because here he was good but here is doing a much more uh, work of course on this diagonal and also don't forget that now i'm also defending the pawn on e4 with the knight with the bishop and maybe here i want to take this a6 pawn so he played the move e5 and now i play the move bishop to h2 knight to h5 Ikaru Nakamura is playing this move, I think his point was also, one point was to attack this pawn on d4 because as you can see, for example, I'm playing the move, uh, for example, rook fb1, he can just take, take and also another take here and also knight e5, knight c5, maybe this one option and of course, don't forget that after rook fb1, another very important option, knight f4, he wants to put this knight here and if I'm taking, he will take and open this diagonal for his bishop. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting move knight h5, but I just took the pawn on a6, 
he played c takes d4 c takes d4 unfortunately for him after bishop a6 knight f4 is not so good because i just will take take and d5 very important move and after bishop b7 for example just take take a6 and after it you know i just will play something around queen d3 and um, to defend the pawn on c3 and i just have a pawn up with an incredible position so he played the move c takes d4 c takes and e takes so he take the pawn back because we take the pawn on a6 and he take the pawn on d4 so now i play the move rook a c1 i think much much more logical was to play maybe the move rook fc1 but unfortunately don't forget this bishop this diagonal is not good for us and he's playing the move d3 and after queen d3 bishop takes a1 rook takes a1 you know it's interesting also to see but knight c5 and i i have some problems here right so for example i don't know queen d4 because this pawn will will be attacked knight takes a6 bishop d6 but of course black is is much better in this position because we will take this one and uh, you know piece up for black so so yeah it's it, it's not so good to play with the rook from fc1 as well i play the move rook ac1 i just want to bring the rook to a good you know good file um you know um according to to the queen on c7 to pin this bishop and of course the you know the first move that i thought in this position is knight c5 but of course it's a blunder because rook takes c5 and don't forget this beautiful bishop and this beautiful long 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 diagonal and uh, so yeah of course he's losing because this this takes c5 just bishop takes c7 with winning a queen so in this position he played the move rook f8 and uh, uh, just develop a rook and in this position i had like a very very beautiful move i played the move knight b3 and unfortunately it's it's good move but not the best as you can see g4 was a very clever move right because we are attacking this knight and after knight h f6 just knight takes d4 and it seems like oh no hikaru kamura has a problems here with this bishop and uh, that is pinned and i don't know what he can do right queen a7 i think maybe just rook takes c6 queen d4 rook takes d6 okay it's like two pawns up right two bishops on the board bishop b5 bishop c4 it seems like winning position for me so g4 i think was was a very very clever move by me but i'm not sure that he must do knight hf6 maybe knight b8 it's interesting move because bishop b5 now knight f6 i don't know i don't know knight takes d4 also yeah seems bad seems bad for for uh, for Ikaruna, knight c7, knight d6, yeah, one pawn up, yeah, it's it seems also losing, knight uh, 2c4, e5, rook fd1, yeah, white is just winning, I think, but unfortunately, don't forget that in this, you know, this crazy game, title Tuesday, we don't have so much time, but I had uh, like two and a half minute against one and a half minute of Ikaruna Kamura, you know, to be up one minute, you know, against one of the best players in the world, it's it's good achievement, I must say. So 93, I played it fast, I played with confidence, and this is the, 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 the way that we need to play chess. Queen b8, this was the move by Ikaru Nakamura. Don't forget that after rook e4 is, is a bad move because queen takes e4, I think. Bishop takes e4, knight rook c7, rook a6, and rook d7, and just white is winning. After knight, uh, yeah, after queen e4, maybe rook takes a6 but also this should be winning for white because yeah it's just it just absolutely winning i think queen b8 was playing i take the the bishop on c6 he take the 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 knight on b3 and now i think i i made a little bit a mistake i played the move bishop c4 very you know very uh, a good uh, um um choice by me because i'm bringing the bishop into the game you know it, it's very it's it's very easy to play such move but i really forgot that he has d3 and this is very important move by Ikaruna Kamura because this bishop is doing a great job here and I want to play maybe knight g5, queen f3 but d3 is a little bit destructive my bishop, right? because I don't want to, to exchange the queens because queen takes, you know, bishop takes and now maybe rook takes a5 rook takes d6 or maybe bishop d6 you know, I have pawn up but I felt like I should be a winning absolutely so bishop c4 was not the best I think just bishop takes d6 just taking the pawn and maybe the next move will be bishop c4 knight g5 and you know these two bishops are really really great together and it seems to be 
very very close to winning position but i play bishop c4 d3 bishop takes and now rook takes a5 and now i take the tom at the pawn of course on d6 so he played the move knight e5 i think in this in this position generally speaking it's it's better for white but not winning right also one option was to play rook b1 i think after rook a1 takes takes and now i think just bishop to d6 maybe and uh, just take a pawn you know one pawn up we have four pawns in the king side against three pawns we have two bishops bishop c4 maybe in the next move rook c7 it seems you know a very big advantage but of course it's not winning right so bishop d6 knight e5 is playing knight takes e5 i think here also bishop takes e5 was much uh, clever bishop takes e5 now rook b1 rook a1 takes takes and i think just knight something around g3 why because i don't want him to to put the knight on f4 and also maybe to you know to keep quiet uh, my king on g2 very safe and everything is fine of course also this position it's not so easy because this bishop is not so good here uh, right because my bishop will be very good on c4 and maybe queen a2 maybe maybe knight g5 maybe rook c7 so much problems with f7 pawn but yeah it's also not winning position of course so I, I took with the knight bishop takes and now rook b1 queen e6 and now i have some problems here what can i do i played the move bishop c4 queen d7 and now i had no time 24 seconds on the clock against 39 seconds of ikarna kamura i played the move rook c7 and this was a mistake maybe much more stronger move was queen to f3 but of course in the time trouble it's very difficult to find such move queen f3 because queen takes c6 is bad move because takes king h8 and now bishop takes c5 rook a e5 and rook b7 and this is very very interesting because this checkmate you know cannot be defended right because queen takes b7 is the only move queen takes knight rook takes e4 in this position i think it's it's very similar to equal but of course uh, not so easy to play uh, both sides so rook c7 was a bad mistake queen takes d6 rook takes f6 you know in the time trouble 12 seconds on the clock i must do fast moves against ikaro nakamura king h8 good move queen f3 rook a1 takes takes yeah bishop d5 knight f6 and now rook b7 and of course it's it should be a losing position um but i have two pawns for the for the knight and it's not so easy to 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 win it bishop e5 of course after knight takes d5 e takes d5 is not moved because of rook e1 checkmate right can you see it so in this position queen f7 this is the move and we are doubling attack queen takes e8 is a is one threat and also queen takes g7 we checkmate in a spot so yeah it's not so easy to play with the black size i think it should be losing uh, i i cannot see something for black so he played the move bishop e5 g3 rook b8 queen b3 takes 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 and now after queen c7 i realized that maybe i have a draw but i didn't take it you know <laughs> queen takes e7 i i didn't have so much time to 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 spend about it but bishop takes e7 and now just f4 just f4 and as you can understand if we we manage to to exchange this pawn fr from g6 you know uh, or with this pawn or maybe with this pawn and maybe with this pawn it's just a draw because this h7 uh, pawn cannot be uh, promoting because this bishop is not in the same color of this square so it's a draw totally draw so i must do it right h6 for example king f2 king g7 king you know f3 king uh, f6 i think just h4 and that's it king g4 h5 uh, will draw this game right so for example h5 g4 that's it take take with h5 yeah it's a draw but i didn't play it and now king g2 bishop d6 queen e8 queen e7 and now i realized i can do it take take king f3 and now king e2 f4 king f3 and g4 and king e4 h4 h5 and yeah i realized that this position is a draw so ikaro kamura i can't do it I can do a draw against you with white pieces. You know, I had a very big advantage, of course. But yeah, I agree. You know, I agree to to not not lose it. I, I have the confidence. I have the motivation to do this draw against the Kamura. We played so much. You know, it's it's felt like he wants to win me on the on the time. But of course, I I, I just have 
nothing to worry about because I don't have uh, so much moves to play. So yeah, we played so much moves with the, with the king. As you can see, we maybe um, did our record, my record for 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 you know for personal view. Uh, so much moves in the game. So we finished this game with 163 moves. So Ikarno Kamura against me. I'm with white pieces. Draw. Yeah, this was the result. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget the like button. Smash it. And also subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.